Hello fellow 3D enthusiast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up IKEA chains between two figures in DAS Studio. So specifically what I want to do is I have these two guys here. One of them is not very well and he's, you know, feeling that he needs a bit of help and the other guy is going to lend him his hand. And what I'd like to do is create a node that lets me move both hands at the same time with one manipulator gadget. Let's see how we can do that. This tip, by the way, comes courtesy of Brian Kramer, aka Zero Calvin, whose audiobook I've just narrated. Thank you for the tip, Brian. There's a link in the description to his book if you're interested. So first of all, I'm going to create a new null over here under Create new null and that's just kind of a placeholder for both of these things that I need to add in there both of these I key chains create that just leave it as null or give it a name and that'll show up here in your scene hierarchy now we can do this now we can do this later the null has been placed in the center of our scene and that's not really where I want it I want this manipulator gadget to be kind of around the two hands here perhaps slightly above it something like that so in order to do that I'm gonna go and move it into place right now so I don't have to do anything else maybe over here move it slightly further over here with multiple viewports this would be probably a little bit easier I'm just gonna do this I'm just gonna eyeball this here there, something like that, just so that I have a handle in the right spot rather than somewhere where it doesn't want to be. Next, I'm going to go and select my Brute's hand. That's the character on the left here. That's Genesis 8 character. And I'm going to select his hand. Just uh, double click that and see if you've got the right object here. I probably don't in this scene hierarchy. I can see I've got his left thumb. I really want the whole hand here. So let's make sure we select the hand. With the hand selected, I'll head over to the Create menu and create a new iKey chain. And what that'll do is it'll create this first part of our iKey chain setup that we need. Uh, it gives you a bit of a cryptic name here. I'm going to call that Brood Hand Left so that I can tell it apart and hit Accept. Now we can see it in our scene hierarchy. That's perfect. Now let's go to our other character, that's Darius, that's a Genesis 3 character. And I'm also going to try and select his hand, see how successful I am with that. I have accidentally selected his right hand, that's perfect, so just make sure in the scene hierarchy you select the correct object. You don't want the arm or the forearm or the fingertip, you want that whole hand here. And once again, with that hand selected, we head over to the Create menu and create another iKey chain. And in this case, I'm going to call that one also Darius Hand Right. That'll just make my life a little bit easier. With that setup done, let's head over to the Scene tab here, into the Scene Hierarchy, and grab both of these IKEA chains and drag them into the Null. So let's start with Darius's right hand, which is still selected. Let's go left-click and drag that into the Null. That's perfect. Let's do the same thing with the Brute's hand, or with the, not with his hand, but with the IKEA chain. So let's open him up and find that item here, IKEA Brute 8 left hand, and also drag that into the null. Be mindful not to drag it onto the other IKEA chain object, just drag it onto the null so that they're both underneath that null that we've created. And feel free, as I said, feel free to rename that null into something like handle or whatever. Now select the null and move it. When you do that, you'll see that now both hands and the rest of the bodies move appropriately as if these guys are really holding hands. And it's a really nice way to bind two objects together and then you don't have to animate two objects, you only have to animate one object. So this null can now be animated just like you'd animate any other object. Notice though that you can only set up these I key chains between two figure objects. So not props, not static props. If you try to create an I key chain on a prop, let me just demonstrate that for you. Like this thing here, that's a wooden block. That's just a primitive that I've created here earlier for him to have something to sit on. If you were to select this object and you say create new I key chain, you'll get an error message. A bone of a figure or a node in the hierarchy of a group must be selected to continue. So the issue that that studio is having here is that this is not a figure and you can tell the difference by the icons in the scene hierarchy so for primitives and for props we get this type of icon that's a static object and for rigged things 
we get this kind of object here, the kind of whatever it is, the three little cubes on top of one another. If you ever need to set something like that up, then simply convert your static object into a figure by selecting it, and then you head over to Edit, Object, Rigging, Convert Prop to Figure. And that should take care of that. You can select any of these options, hit accept, and you can see that your object has been turned into a figure in the scene hierarchy here. And now you can set up iKey chains on it. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, then of course share it with friends, family, and total strangers. Now go off and be creative.